Come on, I'm going to say it like the old folk. You said, we trying to get all of our ducks in a row before we move. And then after we moved, the ducks was in a row, but nothing happened. See, it's better to move on God's timing with your ducks out of line than to think you know more than God. I'm going to make it so simple that everybody going, why didn't you start drinking water every day back when I told you you don't drink enough water? Why didn't you put the coke down when I sent the message about the coke? See, folk don't like that. They don't want this type of teaching. They want to do what they do and then look to God and say, heal me. Messing up all kind of money. And then when you can't do what you need to do, you blame tithing. You blame giving. Don't blame tithing. Blame yourself. For treating real money like monopoly money. Blame yourself. For getting paid and not knowing where your check went. Blame yourself. Years ago in the church. I had a deacon tell me this. I just got in the church. And we was broke. I mean real broke. And I just happened to mention to him. I said, man, I said, well, man, we need some finances. We need some money. Because up until that point, I had depend upon hustling when money got low. When money got low, it didn't, it didn't phase me because all I needed Sometime with 10 and 20 dollars. I just needed enough to get in a crap game. Come on. Went in there sometime just 20 dollars. Bro, Jay. And I come out of there with 500. From 20. From betting on the side. On what somebody else could or couldn't do until I had 100 dollars in my hand. Now I'm betting on myself. Now I'm walking out of there at a crop game with more money than I made on my job. And so when we were shacking and wasn't, and wasn't saved, I depended on the crap. I depended on different ways of hustling. Y'all better listen to me. But then when I got saved, I had to let go of the hustling. Come on, had to let it go. Had to learn to depend on God. So I asked the deacon, I said, man, we just need some finance. And he said, oh, worry about no money. Money ain't nothing but people. Mind you, he was stingy as I don't know what. He always gave $2 in church. Don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with giving $2, but, but when you make way more than that. Come on. Yeah. Money ain't nothing but people. I mean, I just stood there. And in my mind as a young Christian, I'm like, well, why don't I see this paper laying around everywhere? Money is not just paper. Money carries a currency. If money is just paper to you, then you see me out the church. I'm going to help you unload all your paper. Come on, somebody. But tell your neighbor, when it come to earthly things, we can't be overly concerned. Are y'all getting my point? Notice Matthew, the sixth chapter. Y'all hang in here because we need these kind of messages. What did I say from the first of the year? God was going to work on us this year. He was going to work on our minds. And some of us, we got to get a new way of thinking. Now, as you turn to Matthew 6, understand that the root meaning of mind is to think. The root meaning of mind is to think. It is to think. When it comes to our focus, our thinking, we have to learn to focus on divine things. 
more so than earthly things. I'm finna show you the scripture. Though earthly things are important, I never want to think about things of the earth more than I do God. You can't do it. Because there are people that focus again on money and they don't have any. I said they don't have any. Listen, never think that everybody who got money loves money. The love of money is the root. Come on. The love of money is the root of what? But notice it. You can have a lot of money without loving it. Do y'all know that? Now watch this. You can have none of it and love it. They're broke folk that love money. They don't even have any, and they love it. They'll do anything for it. See, when we focus on divine things, it says about us that we don't let earthly things control us. Come on. Now, now you know how I know some of y'all, you focus on earthly things? Because when you don't have earthly things, it changes who you are. It changes how you act. See, you have to know who you are even if you don't have a certain amount of money. Or even if you don't have the money you desire. You got to know who you are. You still got to have the ability to get up and say, this is the day of what my real saint said. That the Lord has made, I choose to rejoice. Come on, and be glad what? Therein. You are happy even though you don't have all the money you want to have in the bank, but you're still happy. Did y'all hear that? When folks are talking about you, you've learned how to be happy. When you got a whole lot of friends, you learn to be happy. But then when that little circle of true friends start shrinking, you still don't learn how to be happy. I know I'm teaching right. Because you have folk that will sit up and let what they have or don't have depress them. Did you hear me? Now, most of us in here got a testimony that we could use some more money. God talking to us about some money. I hope y'all ain't drawing back. Oh, you talking about money in church. Why well, shouldn't there some folk here need some of it? Here's some of y'all praying for it. You need to cancel a debt. Come on. You want to bless somebody. There's somebody you want to be good to this month. And you ain't going you just don't want to be good because it's Valentine's month. You want to be good because it's in your heart to bless them or to do something for them. Oh, I know I'm right. But when you're overly concerned about things the things that you overly concerned about will control you it's good to have a job but you don't make that job your life come on you don't treat that job like it's your life because let me tell you something folk will fire you I said people will fire you for no good reason who said they love you, they appreciate you, they'll wait till you get a certain amount that you're making from them, they'll fire you just because they can hire an entry level person and pay them half. And you spent 30 years giving that company everything. That's right, right there. Now, as Christians, do we need to go to work and do our job? Yeah. Do we need to go to work and do our job? Yeah. Do we need to go to work and be on time? Yeah. yeah, but you don't make that job your life. You don't make that job your life. 
Pastor, I hear you this morning, but you don't understand. They can't make it without me. Yes, they can. <laughs> Most good companies. <laughs> I'm trying to move to these scriptures. Y'all, some of y'all out there, it's your looks that's, that's warring against me. Most good companies already have your replacement in mind. Now, they'll treat you like, we, we, we don't know what we do if you wasn't here. This place can't run without me. Don't go in Monday. Ride by there and see if they close. <laughs> Just ride by and see if they close. <laughs> Call and order yourself. See if they'll say, we ain't open today. We had a, a sister, see a woman, she didn't come in and we can't open if she ain't here. Mm -mm. I'm teaching right. I'm teaching right. Don't make people your life. Don't make people God. Don't make your spouse God. Don't make your children God. Because people will turn on you. Not my family, Pastor. We close. Therefore, your family can't stand you. Matthew 6. Y'all saw the looks I got from some people like, not my family. Listen to me, that's the reason they can't stand you. That attitude you just gave me, that's the reason some folks in your family, they know you, that's you. That's how you act, that's how you behave. You don't make pastor your God. It's going to work out if I could just talk to pastor. Oh, now who is pastor? If I can get pastor to lay hands on me, everything, hold up now. If he lay hands on me and I fall out, I know everything going to be all right. Matthew 6. But see, when your focus, we laughing a lot, but when our focus is not on divine things, then we have the wrong focus. That's what I'm teaching us. If you are not focusing on divine things, you have the wrong focus. Focus. 